All right, I thought I would try adjusting uh, these cavities in this uh, duplexer, and uh, we'll try one side here. And these are resonant cavities. They, they resonate at particular frequencies and that acts as a trap and uh, uh, attenuates that signal uh, where, they, where they resonate because uh, they, re they, they resonate to ground. Um, you could make different configurations where they resonate um, from input to output, but these, these are uh, configurations as a trap and they, they resonate to ground. And so we can see that here in the, uh, in the display, we have uh, two cavities. This cavity is, is, uh, is resonant at that point and this cavity is resonant at that point. And if I uh, put a screwdriver on the adjustments, you can see I can move that cavity on the right. And if I uh, grab the other screwdriver slot here, I can move that. And um, this marker is set to where the device is, was made to, to be resonant. Um, and so we can put one of those uh, resonance right there at that, um, at that marker. And then I'm going to move the other one over too. And when we get both of those in here, now we have uh, you know twice as much resonance, and it should go deeper, right? And it does. It goes, it goes much much deeper. And now we're down here around uh, minus 60 dBm of attenuation. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's pretty easy to adjust these things. Uh, there's a little bit of lumpiness right there. Um, whether or not that would be important to you or not, you can adjust these things just to kind of get rid of that lumpiness. So yeah, they're pretty easy to adjust. Um, I had hoped that I could adjust these far enough into the 900 megahertz region, um, but they won't go that far. So they're, they're fairly narrow. Um, they're going to be resonant within, oh, let's see here, uh, marker. Um, yeah, let's see here. This is 30 and this is 10. Yeah, somewhere between 800 and 830. You know, this one's resonant there. And then the other one reson resonates at a higher, the, the other side of the duplexer is designed to resonate at a higher frequency. So yeah, they're, they're certainly tunable within a range, but not all the way to 900 megahertz, which is which, which I had hoped for. But uh, yeah, it's kind of fun adjusting these things. So I don't think you can get them out too far out of whack. I mean, they're, they're pretty simple to, uh, they're pretty simple to, to adjust. And then you could zoom way in on that. You could say, okay, I'm going to do a, uh, uh, marker peak and I am going to do a, a minimum and I will do the peak again. So it's going to find that minimum. Let's turn off marker two. That's just getting confusing. Marker two off. And uh, we will go to marker one and we'll do the peak again. So now we're down there. Then we can do a peak uh, to center frequency and then we can reduce the span so we can zoom in on there. We can kind of see what's going on now. So now I'm going to adjust, um, I'm going to adjust one cavity. There you see there's two. I'm going to adjust that one cavity so they kind of overlap. And I'm going to adjust this cavity. We can make it a little bit wider, but there you go. I mean, you can kind of get the idea, right? We can kind of find a, a sweet spot where uh, where they're both attenuating uh, this particular frequency. So, yeah, there you go. In case you're wondering what I was tweaking, it was these uh, these posts right here. I had a screwdriver on on each one of these, and they uh, run this uh, particular. Uh, screw in and out and that changes the uh, uh, resonant cavity on each thing and so I, I was adjusting these two on uh, the receive uh, side of the duplexer these two would adjust the transmit side of the duplexer if you're curious what this looks like inside I have another video I'll put a link down below if you'd like to see me open this thing up and, and take a look inside <laughs>